Winning looks like it always has for me, and that's with every color and every kind, every height, every width. If you're sitting on the sidelines right now, you need to know that at some point, you're going to be in the game. And so whether you choose on your terms to enter into our society and where we're at on the field, so to speak, right now, if you can either choose to do that or you're gonna be presented with a situation where you can't refuse being a part of it. So why not choose to enter the way you want, the conversations you want? And also, you will look incredibly foolish sitting on the sidelines right now. There's been no other time in the history of our country where it has been more welcoming and you've been more able in more ways, even from your couch, to make a difference. We can really get past racism if we want to. You know, as a Denver Bronco, no, no fan cared that I was black. No fan cared that I was Muslim. You know, the thousands, tens of thousands of fans that stayed in the stadium after we won the AFC championship weren't cheering on only the white players that were on the Broncos team. So I've been in a situation where it's more important to get a first down than it is to be on the same political or religious ideology. I know we can live there and succeed there. So for me, winning always includes all of us. And, in, and until, we are start, until we get to this point, I believe we're at right now, where we're willing to listen, we're willing to leave some of the things that we held so dear. And that's how you win.